everybody thanks for stopping by our channel today we've got a pretty cool video we caught about a hundred maybe 120 hive beetles out of a single hive and it costs us less than 20 cents to do it we're going to show you how we did it we've got some video um, of that process of the inside of the hive of the beetles this should be fun don't forget this week we've got a giveaway uh, our may giveaway is going to be a select grade um, uh, either eight or ten frame hive body uh, your choice we'll let you pick but the only way you're going to know that that video has been released and how to enter into the drawing to win uh, is to hit and i mean smash that like and subscribe button right there on this video so that the next video we release you'll know about it and you can get in on our giveaways we do a giveaway every month it's always fun let our our viewers uh, enter in and then we have a drawing for it so it should be fun check it out smash that like and subscribe button check out this video 100 to 120 high beetles dead less than 20 cents to do it thanks for stopping by let's get going hey guys cliff here with funny bug bees um <clears throat> Got a super huge problem with small hive beetles uh, around uh, where I live. I don't have any problems with them at the bee yard, which is about 30 miles from here, well, 20 miles from here. Um, but I keep a few hives, five or 10, sometimes up to 16, uh, here in my backyard for my kids to help me with and and to make like spot videos real quickly for you guys. And and I've been you know experimenting so far the best thing i've found for small high beetles is the, is the high uh the freeman style small high beetle trap um and, and we make those and we sell them on our website but um i saw some posts about swiffer sheets and i was like okay i can see how that might help uh you know their little legs get caught in the swiffer sheets but I was really concerned about um, about bees getting caught in the Swiffer, she Swiffer sheets as well. So just as a test, um, and this will show you how bad this hive is. I took um, a hive and I took the Freeman style small hive beetle trap off of it um, at the beginning of this year uh, to do some testing with other methods so that all the beetles wouldn't be dead. And I've got a, a, a Freeman, or not a Freeman, I've got a Swiffer sheet that I put in this hive seven days ago. Um, and so we're going to pop open this hive real quick, um, and check it out. But I wanted to show you guys so that you can see how Swiffer sheets work. And they're just, you know, Swiffer, the little dry mop sheets you put on the Swiffer dusters, uh, or whatever. And, um, so I'm interested to see how many bees are caught dead in it, because if it catches the beetles feet and, and traps them, I'm concerned about the bees too. So let's open up this hive and take a look. Come on with me. All right, so this is the hive. You can see it's a, a deep plus medium. It's an eight frame hive. I've put a little puff of smoke in the entrance. I'm just gonna give them a little smoke. You can actually see the Swiffer sheet right there. Um, looks a little like expanded and whatnot. I'm gonna try to do this one handed here. And, um, and let's take a look uh, at the Swiffer sheet. I'm going to put the phone down for just a second to get some smoke underneath this cover and then we'll pull it up and show you guys what's under there. All right, let's uh, let's take a look. I, I know there's a dead beetle in there. I can see it already. There's one right there, um, but I also see a dead bee. There's the beetle right there, but let's see how many are trapped. Wow. That's pretty amazing. Look at that. That's got to be 10, 20, 30, 40, 40 or 50 hive beetles. Two of them are still stuck. There's a lot of them alive left in it, but they're going to die because they can't get out of that stuff. So I'm going to take this sheet out and we're going to put another one in it. And that's just on the surface. I haven't even looked under on the underside of it yet. Look at that. Look at the underside. Underside has at least at least 50 or 60 beetles as well. So that's a hundred hive beetles just in that one hive. And that's without the uh, the Freeman style hive beetle trap in it. We don't want those beetles to get away because they're just going to go do more work. So I'm going to leave them sit right on top of this thing and let them die. I'll actually probably get some alcohol here in a minute and uh, 
and kill him. All right, quick little break. That was one Swiffer sheet, and, and that's the one that I had on top of that Top Honey Super. Um, you know, I totally forgot that we're going to come to another one in this hive. So well over 200 hive beetles from a single hive. Uh, keep watching. Check this out. It's amazing. And just so you guys know what I'm using, standard Swiffer sheets, the, the dry ones, not the wet ones. So this is what we're using. Swiffer sweeper dry sheets. And it's funny, it says trap and lock right there, multi-surface. And, and from the look of that other one, yeah, wow, that's a, that's a pretty good control method, guys. I'm super happy with the results that I see from that. And that's just, that's just in a week. You know, and this, this honey super is completely drawn out with comb. Um, but I do want to make sure that this hive is queen right before I put it back together. Um, evidently on this one, I had put two Swiffer sheets in it because there's another one full of beetles on the bottom deep. So let me get it out as well. Okay, so this hive is not queen right. So it's evidently one that I'm too busy to keep track of close enough and swarmed. So I've taken a queen and put her in there. Um, they'll get her out in a couple of days and they'll start working this hive. So here's what I'm going to do. The first thing I'm going to do is put, and I don't usually use queen excluders, but I want to eventually use this, use this hive for banking queens. So I am going to put a queen excluder on it so that I can bank queens above this box. So that's the only reason I'm using this. I don't use queen excluders on hives unless I use that hive for banking queens. I just think it lowers honey production. So we're going to put that on. Then we're going to take our Swiffer sheet and put it nice and flat towards a corner. I'm just going to leave enough room for them to be able to get around it and up and onto it. Okay. And then we'll take this box, which I've also checked for queen and there's no brood. There's no nothing in it. So yeah. Uh, and then I'm also going to take and cut the queen cells out of it if there are any and I'm going to go through each frame one at a time to check for that because you don't want to put a queen in there and then have another queen emerge and they kill each other so um, and right now I don't need any other queens from other hives so I'll cut these queen cells out of this and just throw them away then I'll put another Swiffer sheet on top of this and um, and then I'll seal it up for a week and then I'll come back and put another honey super on it so they can start expanding that brood chamber be back in a second. All right, so just quick update. Uh, I've got the hive put back together. I cut out all the queen cells if there were any of that honey super. The bottom, the bottom brew chamber is not even fully drawn out yet. And I was using this hive for some storage of honey. And um, I don't want them to get honey bound. So I've made sure there's plenty of empty frames in the bottom. They've got plenty of honey so they can make wax. Um, there's no sealed brood in the hive. So I'm probably gonna need to give them a frame or two of sealed brood. I plan on I plan on banking queens in this hive so I've put on a queen excluder and then you'll see I also put a second Swiffer sheet laid flat on top of the frames in this honey super so yeah that seems like an amazing method Swiffer sheets now is there beetles left in this hive Yes, if you look in that corner, you see that black mass? That's about four or five beetles that have got themselves really tied into that corner and the bees are just sitting there keeping them corralled in that corner. I'm gonna try to kill them if I can get the bees to move. I might just give the bees a little smoke here just to get them moving around. There, see, there with the beetles. All right, there's one dead, two dead. All right, I'm gonna call that a day. There's one over here in this corner. They've got corralled. I'll try to kill it, got it. Okay, so yeah, a couple of hundred probably, small hive beetles out of this one hive. We're gonna go ahead and get them closed up. 
we get uh, really strong wind storms around here. And I made a separate video on this, but I ratchet strap all my hives down using a, a hook, as you can see, and a post hammered in the ground. These posts are actually made for tying down rebar. And, um, and that's just baling wire that I use to make a hook. Those posts have holes pre-drilled in, in them for, for the wire to hold rebar in place. So they make perfect like anchors for hives. I've had these hives here through the last three hurricanes, tons of 60 mile an hour thunderstorms that are capable of producing tornadoes. Um, they don't go anywhere. I love them. All right, so here's our catch from one hive. And remember these Swiffer sheets are two-sided and both sides are just as full of beetles as this side. It's crazy. Swiffer sheets, thumbs up. All right, so like who to thunk it, right? So I can't believe that like over 200 hive beetles out of a single hive. And it's no wonder that they weren't queen right. The queen probably absconded, if I had to guess, rather than swarmed. Um, as a guess, I, I who knows? But anyway, I if I were living in a house with 200 hive beetles, uh, I would leave too, right? So... Uh, Freeman style hive beetle trap still my favorite because the beetles never actually even really get into the hive it kills them as soon as they walk in catches them um, but that said Swiffer sheets are a great tool to add to your arsenal to control small hive beetles especially if you have a really big problem with them um, you know it costs next to nothing I think you get like 50 sheets for three dollars or something i don't even know how many is in that box but it's a bunch and it, and it's not expensive so um hey i'm gonna give it a thumbs up right so um yeah try it give it a try smash that like button smash that subscribe button and keep an eye out this week for the free giveaway for may 2019 it's coming up within the next two days so keep an eye on it. Thanks for visiting Funny Bug Bees on YouTube. Hope you all have a good afternoon. Take care of yourselves. Take care of your bees. We'll see you later.